It's a common perception that women don't get as much value from networking as men. Is it because they do networking wrong or is it because they are in bad networks? Women definitely contend with different challenges than men when it comes to networking, but there are a few mistakes that they are making themselves, which is making networking harder for them. And here are the top five mistakes. My name is Paratosh Bharak, I'm India's leading strategic networking coach. And in this video, we're discussing what are the top five mistakes women make that makes networking a lot more harder for them than it has to be. Number one, mental block. As per many research has done and articles out there, we know today that women tend to find networking dirty. They associate it with trying to get into good books of someone in order to get themselves a favor. Now this clearly is a mental block and this needs to change. There are people out there who are looking for good service providers, good professionals to work with, good people to hire. And if you are a good service provider, an entrepreneur, a person who can add value into life of such people, shouldn't you be getting this opportunity? So change the way you are thinking about networking and that is the biggest thing that's going to help you network effectively. Number two, relational thinking. A lot of women tend to be relational in their mindset when it comes to something like networking. They focus on building relationships rather than achieving certain objectives. And because they're constantly thinking building relationships, they hesitate to ask for help, introductions, and favors. And this comes in their way of own success. Know this, that sometimes it's okay to be transactional. It's okay to ask someone that you do not know for a meeting, for an opportunity, for a referral, for an introduction. This is how networking happens. As long as you're not attaching an expectation on the other person to do that for you. Number three, not being strategic. Networking in order to be successful needs to be strategic. And one of the things that I highly recommend is that before you go out and start networking, you sit down and create a strategy. What is that you're looking to get from networking? What is the best place to go and get it? Who are the right people? What do they need to think and feel about you? How are you going to communicate your message? Create a plan of action and know this, that being strategic doesn't mean that you have to be someone else. You can be strategic and authentic at the same time. Number four, not being consistent. And this becomes a huge problem. For networking to work for you, consistency is extremely important. Many people who may want to do business with you may not want to do business with you right away. They might need some time to get to know you better, to understand your business better, to understand your mindset, your philosophy, your commitment, or even your character better. Now for that to happen, you being present in front of the right people again and again is going to be important. So create a mindset of consistency. One of the things I highly recommend is that you become regular at certain groups or networking platforms. That is going to allow you the time to build that credibility where people will be ready to do business with you. And number five, biggest of them all, is not making networking a priority. Many women entrepreneurs are so involved in trying to get their business right and to get their current projects and deliveries right that they tend to keep networking second. Now what this does is that it definitely helps them in delivering their current projects better, but it creates a situation that when their current projects are done, they again and again tend to find themselves searching for new work. Now to solve this, you'll have to make networking a priority and one of the core functions of your business. If you are looking for success, then networking is not a choice. It is one of the most powerful, one of the most effective ways of creating success and new opportunities. The sooner that you overcome these mental blocks, the sooner you get into momentum and action, the sooner you will be able to create new opportunities for your own growth. This is Paritosh Parag signing off and wishing you a great network. And in this video, we're discussing what are the top five mistakes women make when it comes to business networking. Networking, in order to be successful, has to be strategic. Now, I have to stop using that. It's become like a gap for that.